Now, here's a question I'm often asked on the Fire TV stick. If I've got an external USB drive plugged into a USB cable, then why can't I move all my apps to that USB device? Well, this guide is gonna look into it. If you're watching this video as a short, tap on the thumbnail in the bottom right-hand corner right now to see the full video. If you're already watching the full video, hold tight, more details coming up shortly. Don't forget to like this video, share it, and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. So as I say, I'm often asked this question and it infuriates a lot of people. I've bought an OTG cable, I've got a USB drive, I've formatted it to FAT32 or I've formatted it so that it can be used for applications like I'm doing now on my 4K Mac stick. But why can't I move all of my apps or some of my apps to that USB stick. They're all stayed on the internal memory, which kind of defeats the object of having the USB drive. So here's an example. If I go to applications and then down to manage installed applications and say, for instance, I go into VLC player and there you go. There's the option move to USB storage. This is going to offload it from the Fire TV stick itself onto the USB stick, which means it's going to free up that space that's occupied by the application. So effectively here, I'm freeing up about 103 megabytes of memory. But if I go into something like YouTube, that option isn't there. There's no option to remove it to USB storage. So why is this? Well, the Fire TV Stick and Fire TV Cube system is built upon the Android operating system. This can be found in many phones and tablets. And in the programming of Android, when a developer creates an app, they can determine whether or not the app can be installed on external storage or placed on the internal storage. And that means that if you haven't got the option in that list there to move to USB storage, then the developer of the app has opted for it not to be moved onto external USB storage. Now, why would a developer do this? Why wouldn't a developer want to help you out? Why wouldn't they want to allow you to free up more space on your stick or your cube? Well, the bottom line is when you move anything to USB storage, external storage, it will run a lot slower than what it does on the internal storage, just simply because the data transfer rate going down that OTG cable. I know that on phones and tablets, you don't have the OTG cable, but it's a lot slower to go to external storage than it is internal storage in any case. Anyway, obviously the app designer has thought that any kind of delay or slowdown in the app is going to be detrimental to the usage of the app. For instance, I can see why perhaps YouTube have decided not to allow you to uh, to move their app to external storage simply because it's a streaming platform. So things are streamed and it could be that it can't stream data quick enough to the external storage and would cause unnecessary buffering. Other app developers might be that they've developed a game which could be just too slow to run or any app could be too slow to run on external storage. So the next time you try to move an app from the internal storage to external storage and quite simply that option isn't there, then unfortunately it's not the fault of the Fire Stick it's actually down to the developer of the app's choice. If you can, then try and get in touch with the developer of the app and ask them why. Ask them if they can make it so that it can be moved to external storage. It might be that you move the app to external storage and realize exactly why they didn't give you that option simply because, as I say, the app could run too slow. It could be too frustrating for you. So there you go. I hope that answered your questions on why certain apps can't be moved to the USB or external storage. 
I hope you liked this video and if you did, have a look in the description down below. If you're in the market for a VPN, a new Fire Stick or Fire Stick accessories such as an OTG cable, then we've got some links down below giving you some great deals. Buying through those links really does help support this channel. It helps me to dedicate more time to bringing these videos to you. And also, whilst you're here at my YouTube channel, why not have a look around? I've got thousands of other videos right here, right now, covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully, whilst you're here, you're going to find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some time and money.